Hey everybody, welcome to the SMA Journey 51 vlog. Alright guys, in this week's video, I'm going to talk about the key differences between Avexis' treatment known as Olgensma and Biogen's treatment known as Spinraza. You know, a lot of us have been on Spinraza treatments for quite some time now, and if you're not on the treatment, you may be actively talking to your doctor about getting started. But with the approval of Zolgensma a couple of weeks ago by the FDA, there's a lot of excitement in the air, and with this excitement probably comes a lot of questions regarding the differences between these two treatments and what these two treatments do in our body. So that's what I'm going to try to explain to you today. Let's get started with Spinraza because a lot of us have been on this treatment for a long time and what Spinraza does is it goes in and actually repairs the SMN2 gene. Now we have SMA because the SMN1 gene is either insufficient or sometimes even non-existent and the SMN1 gene provides the protein that our body needs to build and sustain muscle. Well, we also have a copy of the SMN1 gene known as the SMN2 gene and the SMN2 gene produces protein that our bodies can use just at a lesser amount. Well, the problem with the SMN2 gene is it's missing a certain portion that it needs to become a fully functional SMN protein. All right, think of it like this. If you remove the seventh word out of a 10 word sentence, that sentence doesn't make any sense. Okay, it becomes an incomplete sentence. Well, like the missing seventh word out of the 10 word sentence, the SMN2 gene has something called the exon 7. And exon 7 is the seventh portion of that DNA structure of that protein that's missing. So what Spinraza does is it goes in and actually binds or reattaches that portion called exon 7 back into that DNA structure so that it can produce a full length protein. Okay, so that's one of the fascinating things about Spinraza is it repairs the SMN2 gene so that our bodies can get protein that it needs. All right, now I found a video out on YouTube a long time ago and I've had it out on my website. It's not a video that I produced. A company produced it uh, probably about a year, a year and a half ago. And it, it really details the exon 7 gene and it explains how Spinraza goes in and repairs this SMN2 gene. And it does a hell of a lot better job than I just did. So I'll leave a link down to this YouTube video in the description of my video. So make sure that you go down and you watch that YouTube video because I think you'll find it fascinating. It's a real graphic video that shows a lot of animation and really details what Spinraza does. So make sure that you go down and you watch it, okay? All right, now let's talk about Zolgensma. Zolgensma, being the second FDA approved treatment, is actually the very first gene therapy, okay? Spinraza is a cellular-based therapy, whereas Zolgensma is a gene-based therapy. And what it does is it goes in and actually replaces the SMN1 gene. So by replacing the SMN1 gene, now our bodies are receiving what it needs to actually build and sustain muscle. Now, those of us that are in Spinraza, or those of us that are on active treatment with Spinraza, are probably seeing some good results. I'm not getting a lot stronger with regards to my muscles, but my breathing is a lot better, I've got more energy, and I feel like Spinraza has definitely, I think, put a halt to the disease process, so I'm not gonna get any worse. So if anything, Spinraza has bought me a lot of time, and I feel so blessed about that, okay? So th those are the key differences between Spinraza and Zolgensma. Spinraza repairs the SMN2 gene, Zolgensma replaces the SMN1 gene. Now the company that I work for, BioNew Services, produced a couple of really great articles regarding Zolgensma. Talked about the FDA approval in one of the articles, and the other article talked about what Zolgensma does with regards to how it works in our body. So I'm gonna leave a link to these two articles down in the description of my video. So make sure that you go down and you read those articles. I think you'll find some really good reading. All right, so those are the differences between Zolgensma and Spinraza. And I hope I've cleared up a little bit of confusion. If you enjoyed this week's video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Remember, when you do subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon to be notified of any new videos that I do. I hope all of you have had a fantastic week. Do me a favor, this upcoming week, do something for yourself that's going to make you a better person. God bless you, and I'll see you in a couple of weeks.
Bye-bye. Ramu kanji, ramu leke, ramu tole, ramu soo.